Hello everyone and welcome back to another video at my YouTube channel. Sorry for the crazy barking dog in the background, but today's my son's birthday and I have balloons and she is going ape over the balloons. Anyway, so um, today I wanted to do a quick tip on uh, shaker cards and your Cricut so in, in fun foam. So what I did was, um, oh, and I'm doing a flower uh, design obviously, so I, I just searched Cricut Access for the flower that I wanted, the shape, and I um, set my card uh, size and I cut my flower out of it and then I took fun foam and with my Cricut and I cut the same um, pattern out. Um, and I've did it out of two pieces of fun foam. So what I'll do is just uh, now I'll just glue those together and I can fill in here with my sequence and everything um, to create my sugar bits. Okay now that I have um, my fun foam on here I'm going to get started with the rest of um, the front of my card. I cut out this happy birthday from Cricut. I just uh, again searched Cricut Access and I found this and, and uh, cut it out. Just some black card stock and then um, this foil uh, flower paper was uh, in a pack that I just found at um, Michael's. Very pretty little pack. Um, so I just want to get these glued together. Alright, got those glued together. I'll bring my card base back in. And uh, the next thing I want to do is these are the the cutout bits from the flower. And this didn't originally have a hole in it, but um, I just sliced a, a circle into it because I didn't want to cover up uh, too much of the window. So I'm going to just uh, get this glued in here. Okay, now I'm going to get the happy birthday put on. And I also made these little butterflies. This um, foil dot pattern came out of the same um, paper pack. And I just searched again on um, Cricut Access for butterflies and found this one that I like. And I did accidentally rip the little dot off of a little black dot off of one of the antennas, but I have a fix for that. And I think I'm going to just slightly put those up like that. And I'm going to use some micro glue dots to attach. Well, I am going to handle over this, so I'm not going to worry about that hanging over the edge. Okay. All right, so that is our card front. So now let's bring in our card base, and we're going to decorate the inside. And this is a 5x7 card when folded. And I think I'm going to use this hybrid watermelon. This looks pretty. Hybrid watermelon from Simon Says. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, I like that. All right, let's see. I've got the leftover bits um, from the flower. Um, I um, I got two greens from where I um, had to cut it out of the foam, fun foam twice uh, for the dimension on the front. I was trying to think of, thinking about maybe just offsetting that just like that. And then these are the bits from the flower itself. I think it's using the dark side of the paper for the center and then the light side of the paper for the inside of the petals. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to get that glued together. I've also got a second um, butterfly that I made. It's a little bit bigger than the first one. Okay, got that glued together. I'm going to bring in I think 
I'm going to take this watermelon ink and go around uh, the edge. Get these glued down. Okay, then I wanted to do one other thing. I've got this little cupcake, <clears throat> and I just want to um, stamp it right here. And I'm going to use some cobblestone ink from Simon. like that and I'm going to bring in my Prismacolor pencils and just do a light coloring okay now I'm going to bring in my um, jelly roll pens my sparkle ones and I'm going to put some Them upside down so I can see which ones are the sparkle ones. The sparkle ones are the ones with the clear caps. The glazed ones are the ones with the solid caps. I'm going to need the glaze to work on that antenna, the brown. Alright, so let's just do put the purple on there, blue, actually need the blue green. And maybe a yellow. And I'm just going to go over these little dots that are already here. There we go. Let's bring back in our card front and just going to go over. Little antenna, fill it in. Gives it a little dimension. Set that aside, let it dry. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to color in this one. It gives it a little dimension and a little gloss. I think it might be fun to, with a yellow glaze just to add some little dots. Oh, I think that looks cute. Okay, now we're going to just set that aside to dry. Okay, now everything's dry. All my glaze um, pins that I put everywhere and sparkle pins and, and everything's dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this upside down. I've got these um, pretty beads. And I'm just going to put an assortment of different colors in here. Okay, I think that'll shake around pretty good. I'm just going to apply adhesive. Okay, I had some issues with my my foam and uh, adhesive, and I don't know why I didn't cut it in half so I could run it through my Xyron sticker maker. This is the absolute best way to stick down foam. Um, liquid glue does not work that great. Um, the tape runner is a hard time uh, putting it on, but the sticker maker gives you solid sheets of adhesive on it, and it doesn't peel back up and so now I have my shaker card all done 
There's no gaps in the adhesive because I used the Xyron. So nothing's going to fall out. One last little bit of embellishment that I wanted to do was uh, take my Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Overlay Pen and just go around the uh, pink flower. Okay, can you see that sparkle? You can when it catches in the light for a little bit. Let's see if I add any sparkle to the. Yeah, you can see how glittery that is. So I squeezed it and got a lot of extra out. I think I'm going to add some drops too. Okay, we have pink gumball. And we're going to do Caribbean Coast. Yeah, maybe not Caribbean Coast. It doesn't look like it really matches that teal. I thought it was a little more teal than that. And we're going to do electric lime. There we go. Once that dries, that's going to be our card for today. So thanks for watching.